Today I'll show you how to make a really easy dinner recipe. It's called slow cooker crack chicken. This chicken is creamy, it's cheesy, it is so easy to make, and it even has bacon. Let me show you how to make it. Now the nice thing about this recipe is you can make as much or as little as you'd like. So I just have a small slow cooker here today and I have three pounds of chicken breast. Now if you'd like, you can use chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That gives a really great flavor. But today we're using three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the slow cooker. Now if you would like to make a bunch, say for a potluck or a family gathering, you can so easily double or even triple this recipe. People love it, it's great for a crowd. But today, just three pounds is all we need. Now over that chicken, I'm going to sprinkle ranch seasoning mix. This is two packets of seasoning. Again, if you're using more chicken, you'll wanna put in about one packet of seasoning per pound of chicken. So just keep that in mind. If you're making a whole bunch, you might get away with putting in a little bit less than one packet per pound, but a packet per pound of meat is a good place to start. Sprinkle all that seasoning right over. Then we'll put in the cream cheese. So for three pounds of chicken, I'm using 16 ounces or two blocks of cream cheese. You'll want to use full fat cream cheese so that it's really creamy. I'm just going to place one block on top there and the other block on top here. Again, you can adjust it if you want it creamier. You can add more cream cheese. If you think that one block would be fine for your family, then one block is totally fine. It's very versatile. So that is all you do to prepare this recipe. I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to slow cook it on high for three to four hours or on low for seven to eight hours. It's gonna really depend on your chicken, if they're big chicken breasts or small chicken breasts, or if they're slightly frozen, it might take a little bit longer. But on average, about four hours on high, seven to eight hours on low, we're gonna set this to go and I'll show you in a little bit what it looks like. When the chicken is done in the slow cooker, it should be fork tender. So go ahead and open the lid. Take two forks and you can just easily pull it apart and shred it. If for some reason you're having a hard time doing it this way, just pull the chicken chunks out onto a cutting board and shred them that way and then add them back in. Now, we normally serve this creamy cracked chicken just like it is. But if you wanna take it to the next level, here's what you do. Sprinkle about half to one cup, depending on how much you made, of freshly shredded cheddar cheese on top. And then add about three-fourths of a cup of chopped bacon. Then you can put the lid back on and just let it sit for a couple of minutes and that cheese will melt. Now we are making sandwiches today with our shredded cracked chicken. However, you can serve this with rice, you can serve it with potatoes. Imagine a warm baked potato with this over top. So good. So there's many, many different things you can do with it. But today, we're just making simple sandwiches on pretzel buns. What is not to love about cheese, bacon, and creamy ranch? I'm Julie from Taste of Lizzie Tea. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to head to tasteoflizzytea.com to print out the recipe and get ideas for side dishes and other recipes to go along with this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.